हेलो एवरीबडी वेलकम टू ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग विद जावा लेबोरेटरी सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट प्रोग्राम नंबर ट्वेल्व सो प्रोग्राम नंबर ट्वेल्व हैज टू पार्ट्स वन इज ए प्रोग्राम बेस्ड ऑन एप्लेट एंड वन इज ए प्रोग्राम बेस्ड ऑन द स्विंग सो फर्स्ट वी विल सी दैप्लेट प्रोग्राम देन इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग अबाउट द स्विंग प्रोग्राम स्टूडेंट हेयर इज द्वेश्चन That is uh, program number twelve. I already told that it has two parts. The first one is develop an applet that displays a simple message in the center of the screen. So we will see this how to create an applet and how to run it. This is a code. Well, this program is very short and very simple. I can say the shortest program uh, in this uh, uh, Java library. So here, what we are doing is we are creating an applet and we are printing this message. Welcome to applet that is at the center of the screen so before going to the code let us just understand what is applet and why do we need this and what is this graphics class and this paint method and all so applet is a special program okay that is embedded in the web page to generate the dynamic content so you can embed this applet within the web page to generate the dynamic content it runs inside the browser and work at a client side and the next one is Whenever you want to create an applet, you have to import this, uh, you know, applet class. For creating an applet, you have to inherit. You have to inherit uh, this uh, uh, Java dot applet uh, dot applet class. You have to inherit if you want to create the, you know, applet. So there are two ways to run an applet. One is by creating the HTML or uh, by using the applet weaver uh, tool. Also, you can uh, run your applet program. So here, uh, what I have done is I have created, uh, I have written everything in this one Java file. So if you want, you can write this code in HTML and uh, this code in Java file, and you can uh, run it. So after compiling the you know Java code, you can uh, run the HTML uh, code. You will get the output. Now here, uh, what I did is everything I put it in a one uh, file. So uh, first of all, I already told that you have to import these two uh, uh, classes, that is applet and graphics. And next, uh, remember, student, this is important, and you have to include this in comment only. So this is the HTML uh, code uh, we have included, and we have put it in the comment. So applet code, applet tag, I'm using, and the code uh, I'm, I'm writing the applet uh, uh, p dot class. And what is this applet? With this is my uh, class name. Here I have given the applet p class name. Whenever uh, you know you compile this, you will get the class file. That class file uh, you have to include here. Code is equal to applet and see this name should match whatever you have given for the class name. Applet data class and uh, this is the width of your applet uh, you know window. So it is depend on you. Uh, I have given three hundred by three hundred. You if you want you can give four hundred by four hundred, five hundred by five hundred. It depend on you. What is the size of uh, window you want? You can give it and you close the applet tag here and you have to comment this. Our applet viewer will execute this. Now next. Uh, uh, this is the main code here public class uh, this is the class name and already told that we have to extend uh, the applet class this applet class contains the paint method uh, for this paint method um, you know uh, we are passing one parameter that is a uh, graphics graphics class so this parameter will contain the graphic context of the applet which describe the graphics environment in which the applet is uh, running and the G is your object for this uh, uh, graphics class. By using that object, you know, we can call uh, the different method which is there in the graphics. Like draw string is a method which is used to print this whatever message you give on the screen. And we have the draw rectangle, we have fill rectangle, draw square, fill square, draw line. So many methods are there uh, in this graphics. All those methods uh, you can, uh, you know, call by using the this object. Okay. And here uh, I am passing 100 and 150. So uh, this is where we want to display this message uh, in our window. That is applet window. 100 means from the left hand side, uh, leave space 100. Okay. This is from top, top 150. If you want, you can change, modify uh, because in the question they have asked at uh, the center of your uh, you know, window screen. So you can modify this based on that. Uh, you can print the message on the screen. So student, this is very simple program. Now let me uh, execute this program. I'll show how to execute in uh, Sublime Text Editor and I'll show you uh, how to execute this program in uh, uh, Eclipse as well.
I'll compile the program. So the file name is applet p dot java. No error. So we have to use the applet uh, weaver to run this. Applet weaver, the file name applet p dot java you have to give. Then see here, this is the output we are getting. Uh, this is the window 300 by 300 and uh, here I have given a 100 from left hand side and 150 from a top. So you can change that value and you can print uh, wherever you want, however you want. Uh, it's depend on you. Uh, student, let me go to the Eclipse. I'll show the same program in Eclipse as well. Now I'll go to file. I'll click on new. I'll click on uh, new project. I'll give name as uh, applet program project name i'll click on next i'll click finish so here is the applet uh, the project i'll right click on this i'll go to new i'll create a new class the class name i'll give a uh, applet uh, p then i'll click on finish so here is the uh, file I'll paste my code. I'll save it. I'll run this. See here, we are getting the output. So we are able to print the message at the center of our window. That is welcome to applet. Student, I hope you understood this. Please subscribe to the channel and share among your friends. Thank you. Thank you so much.